I was just like any other normal little kid. He was just like this bubbly little kid. When my mother died, that's when I started hitting bumps in the road. When my sister passed, it was like a day-to-day -day struggle where I was like, I can't take all these kids, I can't do this, I can't do that. I felt like I was alone, I didn't care anymore. When I was a little girl, I lived with my dad, a single parent. We had a lot of ups and downs. Foster care was in our life, you know, social service was in our life. I was scared, like, I was just not worried about school. School was not important to me at the time. Their father was departed three years ago. When her father was taken away from our home, she started lacking a lot. It just made, like, a bumpy path, because I can't stand my dad not being home. I've had to raise my children by myself. Living in a single parent home with my mom in kind of a low income neighborhood and I had a brother who has special needs so a lot of my mom's attention either went to him or putting food on a table and I was way behind. My grandmother passed away and it was affecting my, my school life. Every time I would see her, Miss Patia, is there a spot yet for me? I was on the waiting list for like two years, maybe. Me and my brother got involved with Denver kids when I was in about fourth or fifth grade, so a long time ago. I've seen so many people in my family go to the alcohol, go to the drugs, or just stand in this box without trying something different, exploring new things. Denver kids did that for me. It showed me something different than what I was saying, and that made me know I could do something different. Growing up, I didn't have a lot of resources, and I didn't have a lot of people backing me up. I never thought that there was a lot of opportunities out there. Then when I got into this program, I seen that there was a lot of opportunities and paths that you can take. I made a conscious decision that my job as a mentor for Nigel was to show him all the things that were available to him, and I encouraged him to look at all the decisions people around him are making. And if they make the wrong decisions, what path did they end up on? If they make the right decisions, look how well their life is going for them. And in that way, we've been able to meet a lot of people. Lawyers, judges. In a lot of different professions. Policemen and women, pilots. And it wasn't until I had all of these experiences with meeting these different people, talking to these different people, finding out that they're just human, that I came to the conclusion that I could do this. It made me realize that I wanted to take a whole nother path. I felt amazing. I felt like I can really be somebody. I can do something. I've been exposed to all of these different opportunities and I couldn't imagine if I didn't have that in my life, how I would come up with my goals for the future. It just opened me up. It, it started to make me feel like I can be somebody. I can do something more than what I am. I'd rather break the history path, then continue it, because then my kids will continue, then their kids and their kids. Now they see that this counselor will take them through any path, anywhere they go. Even to take them to the library, which I couldn't do, that helped them so much. Destiny has grown so much with this program. The counselor has helped her. They're on top of their studies. She helped me on my studies in math and reading. They will grow with them and make sure they get into a college, and that's what we want for our kids. I'm in fifth grade, but I'm on eighth grade level math and a sixth grade level reading. Giving them that confidence helps them a lot. It helps them so much, so they see a good future in front of them. I know that my future has been altered because Denver Kids came into my life and helped it quite a bit. He absolutely is not on his path alone. He has a great support system and myself, his aunt, Dan, Denver kids, other members of his family are absolutely walking with him, helping him through this. It feels good that your influence has, has really got a kid rolling on the right path. I really think he's on the right path to doing something good with his life. I just appreciate the fact that there are people out there willing to help us and care about us when they really don't have to. For him to be able to have that stable relationship where he knows no matter what happens, you know, I can go talk to this person is huge for me. Yeah. When I saw the opportunity to get involved and maybe give that to someone else, I, of course, jumped at the opportunity.
in my future, I see nothing but success. They're like another parent, another guardian. It's interesting because when I think about my family, my mind goes to Mark. My mind goes to my grandma, and my mind goes to my brother. Mark's definitely included in that. His mother passed away recently. That night that it happened, we began to call 911, revive her. And immediately after we called 911 and hung up, I called Mark. By the time we got to the hospital and we were right behind the ambulance, Mark was there. It was so comforting because, like I said, I was raised in a single parent home, so that was my only parent, my mom. And seeing her in the condition that I had to see her in, and then have Mark come in, I felt like it was okay now. We're okay. Like, I'm not going to do this alone. I'm not going to have to go through this alone. I, ne I never had, um, I never had kids of my own. I wouldn't be any prouder if he was my own son. I can't imagine being more confident of the path that he's currently on than I am with Nigel right now.